Thank you, Mr. President. Sure. In your remarks on stem cell research earlier this month, you talked about a majority consensus in determining whether or not this is the right thing to do to federally fund embryonic stem cell research. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, though, how much you personally wrestled with the morality or ethics of federally funding this kind of research, especially given the fact that science so far has shown a lot of progress with adult stem cells, but not a lot with embryonic. Okay. No, I, th I think it's a, I think it's a legitimate question. I, uh, I wrestle with these issues uh, every day. Uh, as I mentioned uh, to, I think, in an interview a couple of days ago, uh, by the time an issue reaches my desk, it's a hard issue. If it was an easy issue, somebody else would have solved it, uh, and, and it wouldn't have reached me. Uh, look, I believe that it is very important for us to have strong moral guidelines, ethical guidelines, uh, when it comes to stem cell research or anything that touches on uh, uh, you know, the, the issues of uh, possible cloning or uh, issues related to, uh, you know, the human life sciences. I think those, those issues are all critical, and I've said so before. I wrestle with it on stem cell. I wrestle with it uh, on issues like abortion. I think that the guidelines that we provided uh, meet that ethical test. Uh, what we have said is that uh, for embryos that are typically to, uh, about to be discarded, uh, for us to be able to use those uh, in order to find cures for Parkinson's or for Alzheimer's or you know, all sorts of other uh, debilitating diseases, uh, juvenile di diabetes, that that it is the right thing to do. Uh, and that's not just my opinion. That is the opinion of uh, a number of people who uh, are also against abortion. Uh, now, uh, I am glad to see progress is being made in adult stem cells. And uh, if the science determines that we can completely avoid a uh, a set of ethical questions or political disputes, then that's great. I have, I have no investment in causing controversy. Uh, I'm happy to avoid it uh, if that's where the science leads us. Uh, but what I don't want to do is predetermine this uh, based on a very uh, rigid uh, uh, ideological approach and that's what I think is reflected in the executive order that I signed. I meant to ask this as a follow-up, though. Uh, do you think that scientific consensus is enough to tell us what we can and cannot do? No. I think there, there's always an ethical uh, and a moral element that has to be, uh, be a part of this. Uh, and so, as I said, uh, I, I, I don't take decisions like this lightly. Uh, they're ones that I take seriously. And, uh, and I respect uh, people who have different opinions on this issue. Uh, but I think that this was the right thing to do uh, and the ethical thing to do. Uh, and uh, as I said before, uh, my hope is, is that we can find a mechanism uh, ultimately to cure these diseases in a way that uh, gains 100 uh, percent consensus. Uh, and we certainly haven't achieved that yet. But I think on balance, this was the right step to take. Last question. 